back to my channel i got a request from my friend to make three dresses for two for her daughters and one for a friend so i'm going to show you the fabric here so here we go these are the fabric so i'm going to be using this one to make a dress for her friend and this two for her daughters so she requested from for um two dresses and a trouser so i'm going to be doing that so this request has been for a month now but i don't have time so now i have time this week to complete the sewing project so i'm going to show you the design how to perfect design and i'm going to use today i'm going to use today to cut and tomorrow to sew. so this is going to be like a rush rush documentary on how i'm going to get this bring her design to life so stay tuned subscribe to my channel like share and let's get right into cutting and let's get right into sewing to cut the off shoulder dress with puff sleeve i used the method that i used to create my cottage cosama dress please watch the video i did a little bit of maths to calculate the off shoulder sharing dress with puff sleeve I only subtracted 2 inches from my desired length. To determine a sharing width, I added 32 inches in total to a hip measurement. To get the cut to attach the puff sleeve to the up shoulder dress, for the dress, I marked up 5 inches, then marked down 2 inches, then connected that and cut it off. While for the sleeve, I marked up 2 inches, then marked down 5 inches. Connected that, then cut it off. I hemmed the top of the off shoulder dress, both the front and the back, and started sharing. Time to join the seams together. It's time to sew the sleeve. The sleeve width is the bicep times two. First, I hemmed the bottom of the sleeve. For the top of the sleeve, I folded it enough to insert the elastic. Next, I stitched the side seam of the puff sleeve. Next, I locked the sleeves in the dress, then insert the elastic um, in the sleeve, then attach the sleeve to the dress. And that is all for the dress. So yeah, after that, I tried the dress on the um, customer it's like she's like five inches bigger than me so i tried it on because it's elastic it's stretchy it's sharing so it fits me but not as fitted as i would want it to be but yeah it was okay and i tried it on and you see that I realized after trying it on that I forgot the slit. Yeah, the client wanted slit, but I forgot the slit. So what I did was to slit up where the slit should be, then do like a facing for it. And yeah, you see that. After stitching the slit, 
I locked and hemmed the bottom of the dress. So that is it for the off shoulder sharing dress with puff sleeve. Although the customer is um, 5 inches bigger than me, but I tried it on so you can just see how it looks and it's quite beautiful. It's time to sew the cycle dresses for the kids. So yeah, this one I rushed through it because it was already second day and the mom has already called asking if I was done. So yeah, so I'm just going to give you a breakdown of what I did up front. As usual, I first created a basic dress block pattern for both kids, then a pant block pattern. Then I tweaked it to get the design. I did a slash and spread method to get the circle skirt. Thank God for slash and spread method. I don't need to do all the mathematical calculation to get a half circle, a full circle. So the pants, yeah, I did the both drafting on the same pattern paper. Cut out the back, then cut out the front. So yeah, I started with the front because I made both dresses at the same time. Yeah, simultaneously, I did them at the same time. Why sewing this one? I was also sewing the other one. You're going to see that in the video. Here I attached the front top to the front skirt and the back top to the back skirt so i did the pleats we had two pleats there so i did the pleats and pin then i also did um after sewing i also um attached the the facing at the shoulder then i sewed the shoulders Next, I attach the invisible zippers to the dresses. So just watch the videos on the screen to guide on how to attach invisible zippers. After sewing, I attach the front circle dress to the back circle dress, add the shoulder pin and so. I'm using a different sewing method. I am I'm making it in such a way that I could easily Losing the side seam and adjust it if I want to increase the size or decrease the side So that is the method I'm using. I'm just sewing this the side. I'm not going to use the facing after sewing So just watch After locking the shoulders I hemmed the bottom of the facing just to give it that neat look when attaching to the circle dress. For the circle dress facing, I just placed it on the dress, then pinned at the neck and also the zipper allowance. Then sew around. After sewing, I top stitch. Next is the sleeve, you know, I have a video on how you can just create the gathering on the sleeve, just a, bas a basin stitch, then you drag to form the gathering. Then I attached the sleeve to the, the circle dress and sew and also lock. After stitching the sleeve to the circle dress, I sewed the side seam of the dress and lock next i locked the bottom of the second dress then hem the bottom of the dress to finish up the sleeve i folded to create a channel for the elastic then left space to insert the elastic after inserting the elastic i stitched the elastic close then i closed the space and that is it for the dress so the dress is ready it's time to create the pants the trouser for the little girl so i started with the back so i just sewed the crotch area i uh, the, the side the crotch side seam i sewed and i locked then next i locked the top of the back pant trouser then i created a channel to insert the elastic to form the waist band after inserting the elastic i just um locked both sides so it doesn't pull out on the other side
I did a stop stitch to create those elastic design you see on pants. So watch this video on the screen to see how I did the stretchy thing on that video. For the front pant pieces, I attached the pockets. So I have a video where I did similar things. So I'm going to put that on the screen. You should go and watch that video to get more explanation. Next, I stitch the zipper fly. So I have a video on that too. I'm just gonna put that on the screen. But I use a different method for this one. There's so many methods. So I use a different method for this one. But you can go and watch that one or adopt this method. I went ahead to do a top stitch to conclude the fly. So I attached a band just as the same size as the elastic band elastic at, at the back of the trouser. So I also did a buttonhole and in, um, stitched the button. And next I attached the side seam of the pant, stitch and lock and the hem the bottom of the pants and this is it so it's a rush rush it's just a documentary because i've done most of this thing before so i finished it up i just two days um sewing i finished it up i pressed put it in a package then and there was even someone already waiting for <laughs> the code so thank you so much for watching and please please subscribe to my channel like share comment comment if you want me to do something different i've not done before all right i love challenges so challenge me bye